So I'm going to show you how to make a basket with just a little walnut center. Just a small one. Something about this size. This is a one that my friend made. I'm going to try to start doing some smaller baskets. So far, this has been my smallest basket. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a little smaller for a show I have coming up or class. And uh, in my kits, I always include an extra walnut. So I wanted to show those of you who don't know how to attach to a walnut. Now you are working with a smaller space, so it is a little bit harder, at least for me it is. So I'm gonna use blue, this really pretty light blue, and this soft yellow today. I want to try to incorporate these blue and yellow beads, which I haven't been able to use for anything. I'm gonna just try to do something with them. But at any rate, we're gonna use the walnut for the center. Really simple, reason really reasonable. Um, tie off about five needles, whatever you feel comfortable with. And I'm gonna wrap the first row and I'll show you how we do that. Just because I want a pop of color because there's not much color in the center. So I'm just going down through these little, two little holes here and attaching it, wrapping it around. I'm gonna go down through this same hole a second time, just because these little walnuts are built that way. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to go right in the hole. So wherever you feel you can attach them. So I'm gonna wrap this first row because I want to show some color. So you know how to wrap, possibly, maybe you don't, but wrapping just means cover all the needles with the thread so that you're getting a straight color. So see it's clear blue there. I'm gonna go back down through this other little hole that nature has created for me. Trying to make sure I get everything on screen. Sometimes I look back at my videos and not everything's showing. So just use the holes that nature gives these cute little walnuts. This is a nice sized walnut. And again, I'm gonna go back through the hole twice when I'm first setting up a basket, I like to make sure that it's gonna stay in place. So I will attach it as good as I can to make sure that there's no problems with that. Oops, I've got a nice little knot here. Let's just take it out. I find that the slower I go in pulling the thread through, less chance there are of tangles, especially when you have a longer thread. And I like to work with two arms length. So see how I attach that there? Just in those little holes that nature created for me. Now I'm just gonna continue wrapping. Now I use plain colored pine needles, just as they are, just as nature created them, because if you're wrapping, they're not gonna show anyway. So these are just some long needles I had extra that were left over. So continue wrapping about every quarter inch to one half inch, I would say, attach it to the walnut. So now you can kind of be the judge of it. Now I'm gonna attach it twice here and I'm gonna continue that pattern all the way around, whatever pattern you start. Of course you don't have to do this but I tend to, whatever pattern I start, I will try to continue that pattern throughout. So I'm attaching it twice because that's what I did in the beginning. So I'll go about a half inch here and I'll keep working on it and show you how it progresses. So working on this little walnut center, I've made it all the way around just continued wrapping the needles, slowly getting a little bit thicker, and I've made it back to the starting point. So remember we left this little tail so that nothing would slip through. 
you want to just trim that. And I usually go at a slight diagonal because we're going to continue wrapping up to this point and just try to let it lean right up against it. And I'll show you how we start the next row. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it down. Because we want it to stay secure, especially at the beginning, you always want it to stay very secure. I'm gonna go back through a second time. I like to be consistent on my stitches. So you can see it's down there nice and tight. And we're just gonna go over that little tail that we cut off. Straight over. Just covering everything up nice and neat. When I'm wrapping, I like to push down quite a bit. So we've reached the beginning point right here. And I am just going to go right through these stitches and start the second row. If I can get my needle through. So you see you're just attaching the end of the first row to the beginning of the first row. Just working it down to try to cover up the little tail you've got in there, just making it nice and neat. So now we're starting our second row. I'm not gonna wrap it, I'm just gonna do the basic stitch. So the basic stitch, I like to have them about a quarter of an inch apart. So I'm gonna come over here. You can use these stitches as your guideline, or you can just estimate about a quarter of an inch. Just go down and attach it to your first wrapped row, and you're gonna have a single stitch. So this is the basic stitch. I'm gonna do the second row with the basic stitch. Now we're gonna try to do a small basket and not get overexcited and keep getting bigger and bigger, but we shall see how it turns out. Okay, I'll continue to work on this. I plan on doing about four rows maybe of just the straight stitch, and I'll show you when we start going up the side. But see, just wrapping the first row gives it a nice little pop of color. So you don't have to do that. You can just go through and do regular stitches and it's faster, but I like to have the little pop of color right down on the bottom. Thanks for watching. So I've gone around three times with the yellow thread. I worked the blue thread down below Sometimes I tie it off, sometimes I just leave the tail hanging, and as I get further along, I'll cut it off. So these, I worked the blue in, cut it off, started the yellow down here, worked it up, and I've completed three rows. It's about as big as I wanna get it. Yeah, that's about right. I'm trying to keep this a cute little small basket. So now we're going to start coaxing it up the sides. You'll notice also that I just did a little flash of yellow wrap here to kind of add to the yellow color, make it pop a little. And I am using these dyed yellow needles, which I dyed myself. They didn't come out as yellow as I want, but they're nice. And they're nice and supple. So to coax it up, instead of going along the side here, to keep it flat, you're gonna start coaxing it up. So you just go a little bit above. Just kind of position it where you want it to start going up the side of the basket. And you can adjust it a little as you go along, kind of um, 
coax it up. And as I said, pull your thread a little slower and then it doesn't have a tendency to hang tangle as bad. So you see how it's starting to work its way up the side. I'll do one more right here. That's a little too many threads. I just want to do a couple threads. And I just keep it at the regular about a quarter of an inch apart, the stitches. I think that will look best. So then right here, I'll go up here a little bit. Pull that through, try not to get any knots. So you see how that starts going a little bit up the basket? It just starts lifting it. And then as we go further up, we'll just start positioning. When you want it to go straight up, you position right here. You want it to go out a little bit, you position here. So I'm just gonna go up little by little and kind of work it. I'm not exactly straight, but somewhat straight up the sides. So I'll show you as we get further along, I will, um, probably change colors here when I finish this thread and go back to blue just to pop some more color in it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I worked my way up the side of this basket. I'm using these dyed needles. They're a, a yellow mustard, light yellow. The center I used the regular needles because I wrapped most of it anyway. And so you don't wanna use expensive needles when you're wrapping it. So I've worked it up with the yellow and then I started with the blue, did some blue pops of color. I made one handle with that cute little bead that's yellow and blue that I wanted to use. And I wanted to show you how to attach the bead. So I've wrapped halfway, left it open. My plan is to attach it right here. And I usually like to wrap when I'm attaching a bead. It just keeps it more solid. Um, a lot of times I'll do it top and bottom as well. It just didn't work out with this pattern. But um, pick up the bead. Get it close to in place. Now, if you could see this, I'm just gonna go straight through the stitch that I wanna attach it to. Right there. Now, you always wanna make sure your bead holes are big enough to go through twice because we're gonna go down, we're securing it to the bottom stitch, then we're gonna go back up through the bead and attach it to the top. So now I always make sure here that the bead is nice and tight in there so that your handle is nice and tight. So pull your thread really snug, pull it back around the back, and then continue wrapping. So I'll continue wrapping this all the way down to this point here. I just kind of look at it and, and gauge it what it's gonna look like. Um, I don't really measure, but you can. So I'll continue wrapping, attach it here, and I'll be finishing the basket off here and adding a little charm. So there's a little handle with the blue and yellow beads. I think that'll be really cute. This is a sweet little basket. I've kept it small. Somehow I managed to do that, and I'll show you a little picture when it's done. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've managed to get both handles on. Looks pretty cute. I'm happy that I kept it small. So I've um, got to go back and cut these little tails off and clean it up a little bit. 
I've got these little clippers that I use to trim off any edges that are sticking out or, you know, fibers hanging. So I've worked around to the end of the basket. I usually cut a diagonal and then stitch it down. If you're doing a regular stitch, you could stitch it that way and then back stitch to end it or you know, whatever way you prefer. This, I think, keeps it a little bit more snug and since there, it ended up right where there was a little wrap, I attached it to the wrap. But one thing I wanted to mention, needles are very expensive, especially dyed needles, like $16 for four ounces. So when you get to the end of a basket or you know you're getting to an end, I started about here, I had a long tail. So I started cutting the needles off about where I was gonna be ending the basket and started inserting the short needles back in. And I used those to finish the handle so that I'm not cutting off and wasting long needles. So that's just a little tip there for you to think about. So I found this cute bead, dark blue. It kind of matches. It's a little bit darker than the thread, but it matches the beads. That's what I'm gonna finish it off with. I'll just stitch it on. Thanks for watching. Hope you get to try making a little basket and see how it turns out. Most of mine are a lot bigger. Thanks for watching.